everyone welcome to a brand new video now i've come out today to do a local one i did a few local ones when uh, we were in lockdown and i wanted to do a few more because i discovered quite a few little areas that we've not looked at so that there that is rufford lane down there is newark road that's the main road between ollerton and newark in that direction and we're starting off today look at this for an overgrown railway look at that i mean those nettles have got to be as tall as me five six foot tall that's impossible to go down. Now that isn't the subject of today's walk. There's a nice little overbridge look which carries Rufford Lane over towards Rufford Country Park in that direction. But that's the Midnots Railway and that was opened in 1931 and it only lasted until 1962 and it ran between Ollerton around about a mile in that direction and headed off towards Billsthorpe and Farnsfield. It was about a seven and a half mile long line. So what we'll do today is follow the line that way, briefly. So once we get past here, you can see the other side of the bridge just there, look. That heads off into a private residence and it curves around, it goes under Newark Road and reappears off towards Ollerton Colliery and where that once stood. That's what it looks like on the other side of Rufford Lane. Some beautiful birds and a lot of very uncomfortable looking nettles down there. Still got the old DFT, what's that, mid knots line 7 or is it dash 44? Is that bridge 44 on the mid knots line? Now I've climbed over briefly just to have a look under the bridge. So under the bridge itself look, just some dead light branches and stuff down there. Um, just make out the white mark on the wall there, look, that's been recently done. DFT MNL forward slash 44, so that is forward slash number 44. Look at the size of that retaining wall. That's brilliant, isn't it? At some point, I say over the winter, try and get down here and have a better look at it. We'll come back and have a look at this because today we're going to go that way towards Ollerton and Curtin and Another day when the weeds have died down, we'll see what we can do about going that way towards Billsthorpe. And when you get to Billsthorpe, it's a proper walkway cycle track right through to Farnsfield. Right, so we're leaving the Rufford Lane bridge behind us. That's a short way up there. I'm walking down to Newark Road. Um, the track bed is not overside that hedge, but it's about another 20 metres past that over another hedge. It is a residence with a lovely garden, so we're not going anywhere near that. What it'll do now is go underneath the Newark Road, just so at the end there, about 100 metres that way, the Midnots line goes underneath Newark Road. Right, so crossed over Newark Road now, and what we gonna go past now is what's known as Wellow Dam. You can see over there that's Wellow Dam. Might fire the drone up and have a look at it better in a little while but it's absolutely swarmed with fishermen so I'm not gonna go traipsing past them and disturbing them. So there's some nice farmland up there but we're gonna go this way along this dirt track which is also a public right of way.
a bit of a trail between two fields. So you'd have just seen in that drone footage, oh, it's gone a little bit breezy now. Uh, over there, we was following the former mid knots line still. So that was all those trees just over there on the left hand side on the last drone shot that was heading over in the direction we're walking. So around here, I'm not sure how long this is gonna go. It's a lovely day for it, isn't it? So a little gap in the, between the fields. So that line of trees there is what I was just saying. So that's the embankment to the former, the mid knots line. So that's Newark Road in that direction. And Ollerton is a little way over there out of sight and Curtain and Booton Junction, Ollerton Pit, a little way down there. So where have I been recently and where have I been going and where do I want to go? The last three videos you've seen is Haddon Tunnel. That was done, went there, I think it was three weeks ago today or four weeks ago today. Uh, Oxcroft Colliery Branch, I love that one. That was great. Uh, did that one about six weeks ago. And Park Tunnel Nottingham is the most recent one uh, before this. Yeah, that's extraordinary, wasn't it, that one? The amount of times I'd have been past that and never seen it. There used to be a, there was a picture in that video of a load of cars and they were all Ford cars and um, a couple of viewers reminded me that there used to be a Hooley's Ford dealership just there. So they must have used that for storage of new cars. But I've not really been going out that much the last few weeks, mainly down to, well the weather's been a bit ropey. Been very wet at times and also a couple of days before I did Haddon Tunnel I did actually fall over and I landed on my right rib cage and I've been in some discomfort since. It's slowly, slowly improving. As anybody that's had a bit of a bang on the ribs before, it can take a couple of months for it to sort itself out. So I've not really done anything big or long, um, apart from a bit of local stuff. I had a tunnel, I was in serious discomfort, but I don't think it really came through. Park tunnel, I might have come across as a little bit unhappy and I was a bit in discomfort then. We're now turning into a bit of woodland. Track beds ever closer there look for the mid knots that's just there. So this looks quite peaceful and serene. After about three failed attempts though the Scarborough Whitby line I really want to do that. It looks beautiful and I want to get myself up to um, Lancashire as well, Lancaster Canal, Loon Aqueduct and there's a few disused railways up that way as well. When I do get up Lancashire I uh, hope to meet up with um, a couple of individuals, uh, Frank and Lee, they can do some brilliant walks up there. I'll put a link down the bottom to go onto their Facebook page, some amazing photos, amazing routes, um, it's an absolute pleasure to see some of the places that they go to and photographs on there and some great history as well. simply stunning down here. Look how high them trees are. Look at that. That's brilliant. So we've left the mid knots joint railway behind now. That's over there somewhere. Coming into view and getting close to us just beyond these trees and a little piece of triangular field is what is now the High Marnham Test Track and we're approaching Booton Junction. 
and at Booton Junction was where it spurred off and then off to Bevercoats Colliery about three and a half, four miles away. Previously the High Marlin Test Track was the Great Central Railway and originally the Lancashire, Derbyshire and East Coast Railway. So I can momentarily break away from the woodland path and we'll nip down here and I'll just show you the track bed coming into view. There it is. So, Midnot's Joint Railway was up there. There used to be a line crossing over just there and there would have been a bridge just there. Now the, the walls, the supporting walls, the bridge on this side is still there. Ollerton Colliery beyond those trees just there. And you can walk all the way around there. That's Ollerton Pit Woods. Just down there, you can make out bits and pieces of boot and junction. So I'm back in the woods again. Another path up there, look, wonder where that goes. We're staying down the bottom though, because we're going to walk parallel with the railway towards today's conclusion. So I've got nice and close and personal with the line, not climbed over any fences, I'm just at the fence looking over. Got the two stop signs in the distance, look, that's, that's Booton Junction. You can note the third rail, look, just there from, for testing purposes. Those sleepers look, well, in fact all of it looks brand new doesn't it? And that's the view back towards Ollerton and Edwinstow. So we're now currently walking alongside Booton Junction, which would have taken the former Bevercuts Colliery branch line, three and a half miles from here, towards the former pit. So you've just seen that from above briefly with the drone. Not really that far from the end of this walk, to be honest. Really, I've never been down here before, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna keep plodding along, not seeing anybody. So the track bed's just through there, there's another line of bushes about 30, 40 metres away. And we'll see what's around the corner. Another video I've got coming up soon actually, went over to Lincolnshire three or four weeks ago, met a lovely chap called Jim, been in contact with him for a while, and did a little tunnel explore on the former, I think it's the Laugh to Bourne Railway, I'm probably wrong, I think I've got the wrong name there, but yeah, it's over that way anyway, near Mablethorpe. Typically, I've just remembered, it's um, Bennyworth Tunnel on the former Louth Bardney line. Beautiful tunnel, single track width, stunning. Yeah, extremely muddy down here. Oh, I've just put the right foot in the right gungy bit. Look at that tree, it's recently uprooted. Oh, this looks fun. Ugh. Right, try and do this without falling. And Carefully get to the other side. There we go. Almost. Oh, I said. <laughs> yes, made it. Brilliant. Right. Some sort of work's going off in the field next to me. Not sure what that's for. Not on the railway though, I don't think. Oh, random door. Must be a lovely little house in the summer. Right, now coming up to Cocking Hill, uh, which is the road which will take us underneath the railway, and that's where we'll finish today's little walk. So it's been a nice little wonder out, nice little opportunity to have a chat, enjoy the sunshine, and I know way 
that half stone wall because I've got a hell of a lot of mud in my tread. Right, this is Cockin Hill, and no, uh, I didn't swear. It's Cockin Hill Road Bridge, the railway is up there, back to Ollerton, back towards Tuxford, High Marnham Power Station. Uh, that's it for this walk, I hope you've enjoyed it. Nice little local walk, exploring the railway line a little bit further along. Um, the bridge number, if anyone's interested, is HIM forward slash 72. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Thank you so much for all your support. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you.